How's it going guys and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be checking out how we can get the hidden award called Silver Ecologist in Monster Hunter Rise. To obtain this special badge on our guild card, we need to photograph five of the rare endemic life in this game. So far, as of recording this video, there are only one rare endemic life in each of the levels. And that is exactly what we're going to be checking out. So without wasting any more time, let's jump straight into it. The first one is going to be the snow-faced fox. And this one can be found inside the shrine ruins. What we need to do is select an expedition mission into the shrine ruins and make sure we select nighttime. As the snow-faced fox will only appear in this specific location during the nighttime. As we can see in the gameplay, it's located on this rooftop just above this plateau, which goes under a bit of an archway. Now, if you do arrive here in the nighttime and the fox has not yet spawned, he's nowhere to be seen. Simply exit out of the mission, reload another expedition, make sure it's nighttime again, and come here again, as he should be here as soon as you get here. You don't have to wait or anything like that. Once the rare snow faced fox actually appears, make sure we snap a clean photo, and after the photo, it should say over here to the right that the endemic life has been updated to make sure it actually counted. Also, it's worth noting you can actually do gestures to these rare creatures and they actually respond back in one way or another. Anyway, moving on to the second rare endemic life we're looking for is going to be the Monk Snail. Now, the Monk Snail can be found in the Frost Islands, also during the nighttime. Again, what we need to do is set out on an expedition mission, this time into the Frost Islands. Again, select nighttime, and here we want to come to the shipwrecked boat here on the right-hand side of the map. The Monk Snail will eventually appear out of this mountain here on the right-hand side. However, it's worth noting that this one won't spawn as soon as we get here. After it's nighttime, we want to come here and wait for about three to four minutes until it actually appears. If once you get here, you wait three or four minutes and you still don't see the monk snail appear from behind these mountains, exit out the expedition, reload back in, make sure it's nighttime, come here again, wait another three or four minutes until it eventually spawns. Once it spawns, make sure we snap that photo to update our endemic life journal. And this one's kind of interesting that if we do any sort of gesture to it, it'll do a really loud roar from off in the distance, which is kind of cool. Moving on, the third one is going to be the Reggie Trice, which is this sort of exotic bird, and can be found in the Sandy Plains. This time, we're going to choose daytime when we go into our Sandy Plains expedition. We're going to come right here where we can see on the map, and we're going to go down into the underground on these ruins on the right-hand side. Now, once we're inside the ruins, we want to go to the left into this sort of underground room where this beam of light's dropping down, and directly below this beam of light, we should see the Reggie Trice just chilling there. Again, this is the same as the one from the Shrine Ruins. Once we get here during the daytime, he should immediately be there. If it's not, exit out and reload the level and try again. So snap our photo and moving on, the fourth is going to be the Quetzal Cobra, which can be found inside the Flooded Forest. For this one, again, we need to choose daytime in our expedition into the Flooded Forest. And here we're going to go all the way to the other end of the map down here at the Pyramid. Now on the bottom side of the Pyramid, there's going to be this entrance halfway up the wall. So we want to climb in there and we come to this room with the crack in the floor. And this is where this rare endemic life is going to merge from. Now for this one, like we said, we need to choose daytime in the expedition. And after the time it takes us to actually get to this room, once we're in the room, wait around four more minutes, anything between four or five minutes for this cobra to spawn out of the crack as soon as it does. Snap the photo and move on to the fifth and final one. Now, the fifth and final one is definitely the most tedious one to get, which is the Hellbill, which is this phoenix-like bird, which can be found in the Lava Caverns. For this one, choose Expedition in the Lava Caverns. This time, choose Nighttime. Then we want to go through the secret hole in the wall here, climb up to the upper level, and here we can see this sort of platform sticking out. And once we're here, we need to wait until it's dawn. Now, for it to be dawn, we need to go into the Expedition, be in Nighttime, and then wait a total of 18 minutes until nighttime passes, and this is when the Hellbill will spawn. So the way to do this is simply go to this location shown on screen. During the nighttime, wait there for anywhere between 18 to 20 minutes, go have some food, whatever it is, and then after the 18 minutes are up, the Hellbill will spawn, and we can snap the photo of it, giving us the final photo we need to get the Silver Ecologist achievement. So I hope you did find this really helpful, guys. If you did, don't forget that thumbs up button, subscribe for more content coming very soon, and we'll see you next time.